हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू हनार एजाज एंड लाइफ स्टाइल चैनल टूडेज वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी अ कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ सप्तम आत्रिका वेर आई विल बी शोविंग यू ऑन हाउ टू डू अलंकारम फॉर वैष्णवी वैष्णवी हैपन्स टू बी अ शक्ति ऑफ लॉर्ड विष्णु एंड देर हैज बीन अ लॉर्ड ऑफ डिले इन डूइंग दिस वीडियो मेनली बिकॉज आई डिड नॉट हैव द वाहना रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस अलंकारम दैट इज द ईगल एंड इट यूजली इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम फॉर द प्रिपरेशन so i'm very sorry for the delay in making this video and i know that many of you had been eagerly waiting for this so just in case if you are also interested in learning on how to do this beautiful alankaram and if you also want to listen to a nice story about vaishnavi then please don't miss to watch this video till the end This video is going to be self-explanatory, so I will not be explaining on how I do this alankaram, but rather I will be telling you a short story and introducing you about Vaishnavi and why is that we need to worship her and what are the benefits we get by worshiping her. Now, without wasting much time, let me start with the alankaram, and I will be telling you the story in the background. Devi Vaishnavi is one of the Saptamatrikas. She is the female counterpart of the creative energy of Lord Vishnu. When Goddess Durga was fighting the demons, she had seven female Saptamatrikas, that is seven companion mothers helping her. According to the later episode of Devi Mahatme, Durga created matrikas from herself and with their help slaughtered the demon army. According to the Shumba Nishumba story of Devi Mahatme, Matrikas appear as shaktis from the bodies of the gods Brahma, Shiva, Skanda, Vishnu, Indra having form of each approached Chandika with whatever form ornaments and vehicle the god possessed in that form they slaughter the demons army thus the matrikas are the goddess of the battlefield 
they are described as assistants of durga having sinister as well as propitious characters in matya purana shiva had created seven matrikas to combat the demon andaka who had the ability to duplicate from one drop of his blood that falls from him when he is wounded in varaha purana they are created from the distracted mind of goddess vaishnavi who loses her concentration while doing tapasya they are described as lovely and act as the goddess attendants on the battlefield devi vaishnavi sculpture show her with a lovely face and pretty eyes she is a dark complexion goddess who is fond of wearing yellow garments her emblem and vehicle is garuda same as that of lord vishnu she wears vanamala and all ornaments which lord vishnu wears she resides under rajavriksha according to devi purana she is a four headed goddess she carries shanku and chakra in her upper two hands and a lotus and gada in her other two hands the weapon chakra symbolizes a purified mind it represents the capability of goddess in destroying the ego of her devotees the conch represents the sound om which is the divine sound signifying creation and maintenance all saptamatrikas represents one bad quality and goddess vaishnavi represents greed by worshiping her one can get rid of desire to own more now that we have understood on how vaishnavi devi looks like and why is that we need to worship her now let me just brief you of the saptamatrika mantra which is there for vaishnavi om taraksh yatvajaya vidmahe chakra hastaya dhimahi tanno vaishnavi prachodayahat this is the mantra that can be used for worshiping ma vaishnavi devi each of the saptamatrikas carry special power and devi vaishnavi confers the boon of kingdom to her devotees and this finishes the story of devi vaishnavi
now let me just explain to you roughly on uh, you know how i have set this entire thing up because in this alankaram i'm going to make vaishnavi devi sit on an eagle and look as if she's flying on an eagle so for that the first and the foremost thing is i have kept the cloud background i'll be making a separate video on uh, you know how to make your own backgrounds from the photos and all and i'll be guiding you on that and then i have put this cloth over here on this table okay like a aqua blue color so that it looks as if this is the cloud and i have placed her on a small stool like this okay so if you can see the stool the legs are not far the legs are near and it has got a good height okay the height of this should not be too long okay i think this is somewhere about 5 uh, inches if i am not wrong so it should not be lesser than that and it should not be more than that in case if your idol is small then you can go for a smaller stool but this should be ideal for um, an idol from 8 inches onwards okay anything greater than 8 inches 5 inches stool should be ideal and after that i have made an eagle to look like this and the technique used to make this eagle is exactly like the way i had made a swan so if you remember in one of the videos for saptamatrikas i had actually made a swan and i have explained in that video on how to do the swan so it's exactly the same way that i have made an eagle and i have stuck these uh, you know the real feathers and all to give it a realistic look and this is made out of cardboard very economical okay and anybody can do this and all i'm going to do is just place this eagle underneath her leg like this and you're going to get a feel as if she's sitting on an eagle and she's flying okay so over here for the stools over here and here i have stuck the glue so all i'm going to do is keep it over here and press the wings against the stool and that's it we are done see how simple it is to do the setup now all i have to do is just scatter some cotton over here to make it look like you know she's flying in the cloud so let me just do that and i'll get back to you So I hope you all have liked this video. If so, please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get automatic notifications every time I release a new video. Thank you.